What's good, folks? It's Nightmare Frame, and this is the Cephalon Zaw. So I finally decided to release this video, because a lot of people have been asking for it. This Zell combination will have you red crit, rivenless, oh yeah, it can shred through anything. For those who don't know, Zaws are modular melee weapons, so you can build them however you like. Mine is focused on speed, crit, and damage, and I'll provide you with five different deadly builds that you should definitely try out. So, if you want to know how to build this weapon, you need the Sephon Strike, the Peye Grip, and the Varjeet Tujai Link. The Peye is perfect for speed, and the Varjeet Tujai for the crits. The status chance is just fine, as you can use Weeping Wounds to help you build up the status chance, and the way armor is is right now, uh, you're gonna shred regardless. Also, since this is a Zaw, you can fit the Exodia Arcanes. These Arcanes can completely change how you mod and build your weapon. And the Arcanes I'm showcasing right now are the only useful Arcanes to use. Unfortunately, Exodia Contagion is locked behind the Plague Star event, so if you missed out, you can always bite off other players. Alright, let's start off with the main combo build that is being used in the background footage. As you know now, the go-to mods are Condition Overload, Blood Rush, and Weeping Wounds. Those three make combo builds what they are. No reason to go full tryhard unless you're going into higher level content, as Condition Overload adds up damage on itself with the more status effects on a target. Blood Rush will scale crit chance based off your combo counter, and Weeping Wounds will build up status chance with your combo. So the build is the go-to Condition Overload for the scaling damage, Blood Rush for the crits, and Weeping Wounds for the status chance. Reach for the range, perfect to hit multiple targets and close distances, and build up status effects on targets to help out your Condition Overload. Organ Shatter for the critical multiplier, and the two raw elements to form Viral, or Corrosive, or whatever you want. Viral will deal multiplied health damage the more stacks you build up, capping at 325% health damage at 10 stacks. Also, I will use the Exodia Hunt Arcane in this build. Slam attacks will pull in enemies and have you deal stealth multiplier damage, having your damage scale even more. I will utilize the forward and block combo from the Blind Justice Stance. It's just perfect for this Arcane. Alright, moving on to the non-elemental build combined with the primed smite mods. Smite mods will allow you to deal two times more damage with slash and three times with toxin towards a certain faction. Since Sephon is heavy in slash, that's the build we're gonna go for. Similar setup to the previous one, but instead of elements, I went with the primed smite mod and gladiator might. You can swap out gladiator might for prime pressure point if you want to increase the bleed damage. And you combine that with exodia hunts, these enemies will be taking insane multiplicative damage all at once. Okay, the third build, the Heavy Attack build. Since this is a Nikana, all Heavy Attacks from Nikanas will force proc slash, regardless of the stance, so you will end up bleeding enemies to death. The Heavy Attack build isn't something you would usually see, since with Heavy Attacks you want to deal initial damage without building up status effects or combos. Modding it for raw damage and crits is the way to go. I have the two sacrificial mods combined to give me raw damage and crit chance. And since this is a heavy attack, we get two times crit. Corrupt charge for the initial two times combo, killing blow for the 60% heavy attack wind up speed and 120% heavy attack damage. Gladiator might for the crit damage and slight boost in crit chance. And in the arcane section, I'm running Exodia Brave. This will have you regen energy from heavy attack kills. Very useful on warframes that run blind rage. And you can also have this build heal you. All you have to do is replace Gladiator Might for Life Strike. You heal a percentage of your health with each heavy attack hit. Pretty insane. Alright, alright. Now, what if you want to combine the combo build with the heavy attack build all in one? And that's when you go for the quick and heavy loadout. It's modded like the combo build, but with a few changes. 
Instead of Condition Overload, you will run a Primed Pressure Point, since you want to deal initial damage. And instead of Organ Shatter, you go with Amalgam Organ Shatter for the 30% Heavy Attack Wind-Up Speed and 85% Crit Multiplier. For the Arcane, I'm running Exodia Triumph, which helps us build up combo faster, since you'll use up combo to Heavy Attack. And now the Elemental combo is Corrosive, with Primed Fever Strike and Focus Energy. Focus Energy gives you 60% Electricity and 40% combo efficiency. Now combo efficiency will determine how much combo you use up with each heavy attack. To make this build work, make sure you're in the Xenoric Focus School, running the Inner Might node. This will cap your combo efficiency at 90%, so you will only use up one combo with each heavy attack. It's an interesting and deadly loadout. You also deal the modded element when you heavy attack. Alright, now that we've seen that, how about we take it to another odd build? And that's the Exodia Contagion. There are two ways to mod for Contagion, the simple and the try-hard complex way. Let's see the try-hard, where you build up combo using Blood Rush in the build just to prep yourself to perform a Contagion attack. So the build is almost similar to the combo build, but we forego range and weeping wounds and go for the combo counter and crits. It's a very simple build. And no, Contagion does not work with Condition Overload. So you go with raw damage instead. Now that you see the tryhard way, let's see the simple build. Just build it for raw damage and crits and attack speed. If you don't have Prime Fury, then use Quickening. And remember, the further you are, the more damage you deal with Contagion. And also guys, this is a little teaser to my soon-to-come updated Ash build. So if you want to check that out, stay tuned. And alright folks, that has been it from this video. I do hope you've learned something and enjoyed the builds, and if you did, feel free to leave a like. Share and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.